Good morning, YouTube. Okay, guys. Today's video is brought to you by the color purple. No, kidding. <laughs> it's actually brought to you by G2 Dynamics again. And Paul's such a good dude, man. He's like really, really going above and beyond to help out this YouTube channel and everything. Um, but check out G2DAudio.com. Man, the sale ended today. They had a huge sale going on on uh, subwoofers and everything. Uh, I'm not familiar with what all should sell, but I do know his website has everything from train horns to like good wiring, all the accessories you need. They just picked up DB Drive, full line, anything you want. So head over and check them out, support the channel a little bit. Let's get into today's video, the shit box. Um, yeah, where to start? Actually, what I had literally just got done doing, guys, was adjusting the gains on my amplifiers. Uh, when you have a decently loud system, I would recommend doing this, man. If you're like 150s and above in a wall, I mean, this thing's three layers thick, so the enclosure in here gets the least amount of vibration in this vehicle. So, yes, you can mount your amps on back of the enclosure. I mean, I know they say not to. I mean, if you're running a prefab ported box, I mean, no, definitely. But if you have a really good enclosure, it's probably gonna take the least amount of vibration in your vehicle. And at that point, yes, yes, you can. A lot of people run rubber spaces, dampers. I don't, I mean, and I have nowhere else in here to put my amplifiers. As you can see, we're pretty filled up. Uh, that's why I literally had to spend a day in the shop welding making mounts for this fan and why I picked this fan particularly, because I have no room. So with that, you know, it's probably the safest place to mount the amps in here. Uh, but that's not the reason for this video. The reason for this video is gain adjustment. Now, a while before the Sundown Audio Show, I came out here and I set all the gains on my amplifiers at 115 volt output AC each amplifier that is with the number i choose on my head unit which my head unit goes to 35 i choose number 32. so at volume 32 bass knob all the way up i take my good old motometer here and guys do yourself a favor get a good motometer not like your cheap part store square box south wire brand i mean you can get these things for like 50 60 bucks and they are really good but Positive uh, speaker wire terminal at the amp, negative. I actually probe the speaker wires themselves, but I unhook them. I, I unhook one wire from each amp from the speaker. So it, they're not connected, like none of the four are connected. And I just stick this into the speaker wire like so. And then I do the same for the ground somewhere away that it can't touch. I set this thing to AC voltage and I see what it's doing with the base knob turned all the way up. I set the gain on that amp. Then I turn the base knob all the way down and I probe the next set of wires. And today when I checked all of them, you know, I turned up to volume 32 on the head unit, rode the base knob all the way up, come back here and looked. They were all in clip. Clip light lit up. A good way for you to find your clipping point is probe each amp, how I just said. And if I don't have a clip light, use a DD1 or an O-scope. Find the clipping point of each amp. And if you want to go max potential, whichever one is honestly the lowest, set each amp to that one. Uh, I don't do that because... I don't know where my clipping point is at, but each amp was at like 122 volts. Anywhere from like 121 to 123 in that ballpark. And the clip light on all of them was on. So uh, normally I set them at like 115. Today I went a little conservative and I set each amp at 113.5. I knew it would be conservative. I know it's a nice safe zone. And that was with my voltage on my battery when I started this morning, it was at 15.4 and I started adjusting at that point. I run 16 volt. I can get a lot more out of the amps at 16 volt. But when I demo, I let my voltage drop. You know, it normally drops into that 15.5 range at the lowest. So 
with the thing setting this weekend, I knew I was safe at like 15.4. When I set the first amp and I just adjusted the gain on each amp to that point. I know it's not the best idea in the world, but I have had this little screwdriver probably like 20 years. I keep it in my console to adjust my gains with. I've bought the little plastic 3D printed loud tool before, but man, honestly, I just love this old thing. Problem is it's still all the way. Uh, I'm careful when I stick it in there and adjust though. But yeah, it's a good idea to always adjust your gains if you have a loud vehicle. I'm talking like 150s and above monthly. I don't do it monthly, you know, I've skipped a couple months, but they were all out. So it's a really good idea to do them bad boys monthly. Um, no walls. You could be doing a 45 in a no wall, and you probably need to check them things every couple weeks. Uh, just because everything in a no wall car takes so much damage. At least, you know, with a wall, everything's sealed off back here. I said most solid part of the vehicle, and they still get out of adjustment. Uh, tar amps are really bad. I mean, them things that... I could set them one day, next day they'd be out a little bit, but yeah, everything in here, it does get pretty bad, and it is what it is. Set your gains, guys. Recheck them. Uh, and with them, mine, you know, the gain didn't go down. It actually turned up on all of them from the vibration. But I just want to make a quick video, show you what I'm doing today, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I'm just out here doing some gains, getting ready for ruckus this weekend. But anyway, all you guys watching this, if you enjoy my content, like if you've watched a couple of my videos, man, hit the subscribe and a like on a video. I could use it, man. I'm struggling here, like really struggling to get views. Just trying to grow the channel into something, you know. Car radio is my passion. If you like car radio, it might be your passion someday, or it already is. So I would definitely appreciate a subscribe, thumbs up, or whatever, man. Anyway. Appreciate all y'all for watching this. Peace out, everybody, and as always, base on.